everybody, what's going on? It's your boy, We're Stephen Gamer, and I'm back with another Art of Conquest episode, guys. Today, we are taking a look at the brand new update that just got released not that long ago. And with this update, they released super units. Now, these units are actually really, really cool. Depending on what you are, human, dwarf, lich, it's going to be a completely different uh, unit for you. All right, so as for me, as you can tell, I am human. So let's take a look at the human angels all right so if you are a human you are able to unlock the angel this one is the seraph i will show you why i have the seraph is if you go into your rankings the ranking system got changed a little bit too but once you are duke you can unlock um angel and then a prince you can unlock the seraph this seraph looks pretty cool all right and then can once you become a king you get different perks but the highest you can go is prince all right and then um the only way you can get Prince, the only way you can get Duke and Prince is you got to be a governor of a big or a giant city, all right? So that is the only reason how you can get one of these heroes. So let's go back, take a look real quickly here now. Go to Angels. Um, this takes 24 hours to get, guys, all right? I, as you can tell, I just finished mine right now. So let's go ahead, let's unlock my Seraph and take a look and what it actually does. Okay, so... Go into the army, and there you have it. Only one energy. Huh. That is really cool, I guess. We'll have to take a look at what that means. Can we only use it once? I'm not exactly sure what that means. Hit point 35k. Wow. That's a lot of hit points right there. 720 attack is not that high. But what are its abilities right here? So first active ability resurrect at most 20 allied humanoid uh, units can be used only once per battle all right so that first ability here allows you to summon 20 or revive resurrect 20 allied humans doesn't tell you which kinds but i guess any human uh allied will be able to resurrect that's pretty cool second ability falling star basic attacks discharge a falling star that deals magic damage to enemy units within the impact zone at the same time healing nearby allied humanoid units all right so you're gonna heal plus do damage uh holy radiance discharge a brilliant beam that blinds and deals magic damage to the enemy units in charge in range at the same time healing nearby allied unit what is this exactly the same as that that's kind of strange uh, this is a super unit. Super units can be used by only the commander who trained it. Will not fall injured when defeated in battle. Expands energy but does not count towards army supply when deployed. Wow! So even though this is a gold unit, it does not count towards your gold army supply. That's pretty cool. Giant unit which deals damage to normal and larger units. And then this is humanoid. Alright, so those are the abilities of this um, unit, guys. Looks really cool. Attack is not that high, but it's only level 3. I wonder if I can... I'm pretty sure you are able to get it to higher levels. Definitely. Alright guys, so let's take a look at where and how exactly to use the Seraph in a battle. So I'm facing a very simple squad here. So let's go take a look. And boom! There's the Seraph. Wow! Look at this. This is pretty sweet, guys. Uh, first of all, it is a large, large unit um five by four that is a lot when i say five by four if you don't know what i mean uh, that is the dimensions of the units so each unit has dimensions here five by four that's about 20 spaces it takes up and um you know what let's try putting it in the front there i have some other units here let me go ahead use the tank because tank is a beast let's put the tank in there and i'm only going to roll with just two units here let's just go with anybody let's go with her right here all right Let's try this out at first. First battle, let's see what it actually does. All right, there's the beam. Boom! And it freezes them up. Wow! Morale collapse. Hey, that's actually not bad. I'm not sure if it's the Seraph or if it's the tank doing the damage there, but... First of all, that seems pretty freaking dope. All right, the tank did all the damage. Seraph didn't even do that much damage. Um, but that's a level 13 tank, so it's not even close. Level 3 to level 13. Yeah, that's not even close. Um, so only one energy. That's pretty weird. How long will it take to regain that energy, though? Hmm, I wonder. Alright, guys, so it tells you right now, uh, it takes 8 hours 
for your Seraph to regain that energy. I'm guessing that's how powerful they really are. That you can only use them once every 8 hours. Wow, that's insane. Partaking in battles expands energy, recover 1 energy in 8 hours. Hmm, doesn't sound that good. Why would they make this so hard to really use? I'm guessing because of its first ability to resurrect 20 allied units in a battle, which is very powerful. Uh, you're probably going to want to use this hero in a uh, siege. Really important battle, guys. You want to save him for really important battles. That's for sure. So that was the first look at the, the new units, guys, the super units. You have the angel, uh, the Archangel and you have the Seraph, depending on if you're a Duke or a Prince. In my opinion, seems really strong. Seems really cool because you can use it as a support in the back and resurrect a lot of your frontline uh, tanks that probably die in battle. So it's useful, but one energy doesn't seem like a lot. Um, this next one, though, it says three energy. Hmm, if you switch races, your rank changes. Uh, that's another thing that I didn't want to leave without saying, guys, is if you get demoted. So if you lose your governor, if you're not a governor of the city anymore, you're going to lose your super unit, all right? Just so you guys know, this is only for governors of big cities. So you have to be a governor of a giant city to be able to summon these units. And uh, that's it. That's really all there is to it. Uh, they're pretty cool, but it's hard to use them. This one says three energy here. And I'm not sure why, but you might have to just let them regen. So all I probably have to do is let mine regenerate. Yeah, three out of three. So in 24 hours, you'll get three energies. I get it. So you can use it three times every day. All right, that makes more sense. So using them in super battles is probably your best way to go. Sieging, really cool. You don't want to use them for quest hubs. Um... And probably you want to use them maybe doing your battles in your um, in your technical school. So that might help you out a lot. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you the new super units of Art of Conquest that just was released. Good luck with the game. I hope you guys are governors of a big time city so you can summon them. If you're a lich, it's going to be different. If you're a dwarf, it's going to be different. But this is for humanoids, right? I'm going to end it off here, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Leave a like if you did. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Art of Conquest. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Peace out, guys.